Our world is formed of many transactions. All activities with senders and receivers can be considered as transactions. They include activities such as sending and receiving money, purchasing and selling real estate properties, and others. Even if it doesn't involve money, sending email documents or concluding a contract among companies can also be transactions. The credibility issue arises when it comes to transactions. Let's assume A lent $100 to B. A honestly recorded this on a ledger, and B dishonestly recorded that B received $50. In this case, how can we tell which ledger is reliable? Here, the third party appears to immediately guarantee the transaction. The third party intervenes in the middle and records the transaction of A and B. The truth can be distinguished based on the ledger the third party makes the record on. However, this system does not guarantee completely transparent transactions. B can manipulate the ledger by conciliating the third party or B can secretly steal the third party's ledger and change the data. Most of the transactions that we currently transmit and receive are based on this centralized system. For example, when you send email, the send history becomes recorded on the company's server that provides the email service. However, as mentioned earlier, anyone can hack the central server and tamper the data. And if the central server shuts down from problems in the network, there is a chance that all transactions will become interrupted. This is called single point of failure. Basically, the whole system can shut down even if just one spot in the system fails. Accordingly, blockchain is the current technology that is receiving the spotlight. In blockchain structure, all the network participators share their transaction history instead of relying on the centralized system. This is called decentralization. In blockchain, everyone reaches a consensus on which content to include in the ledger and synchronizes each other's ledgers. Even if someone tries to tamper the data, the person must receive the agreement of the other participators again because everyone shares the same ledger and the data is encrypted. Therefore, blockchain transactions can be viewed transparently. However, what happens if the network participators increase and transactions occur more frequently? The speeds slow down from asking each other and drawing conclusion. Network overload occurs from the increased traffic and the ledger increasingly expands over time. The demand keeps increasing, but the processing capability is limited, which causes delays. We call this the scalability issue. Several blockchains have focused on increasing the speed to resolve this issue. For example, there is a way to limit the number of people who participate in the decision-making process. This may cause the speed to increase dramatically because a limited number of people just needed to communicate with each other and update the ledgers. However, an absolute majority of people cannot participate in the decision-making process and also cannot possess the ledgers. In other words, increasing the speed causes decentralization to weaken when this is a significant trait of blockchain. However, what happens if the decision makers choose to manipulate the ledgers? And what if the server of the representatives shut down? The more you restrict the number of network participators, the higher the chance of problems such as manipulation, network shutdown, etc. to occur from collusion and hacking. This is the dilemma of blockchain. Strengthening decentralization causes the scalability to decrease, and increasing the scalability causes the scalability to weaken. The blockchain projects that have been released so far had to choose one of the two paths after stumbling upon this dilemma. When these projects had to make the inevitable decision, Locust Chain filled in the gap between these two mountains with its high technology and created a massive mountain instead of choosing to climb up one of them. It has filled the gap between these two mountains to secure decentralization and scalability at the same time. How was this possible? Locust Chain implemented BFT consensus on the AWTC ledger structure that can be managed by accounts. On top of this, it implemented the verifiable pruning technology, which allows data verification even when the data of the ledger becomes deleted. 
It also implemented the dynamic sharding technology that divides the network into shards. Through this, Locust Chain resolved the dilemma between decentralization and scalability. We will explain each technology step by step by producing separate videos, so please look forward to it. As you can see, Locust Chain is a blockchain that allows fast transaction processing even when everyone shares the ledger and has extremely small ledger size or network usage. Because of this, anyone can operate Locust Chain on their mobile devices. This is important because it's not only resolved the dilemma simply in a functional way, but also increased the usage so that anyone can participate in the network. Locust Chain is called a practically usable public blockchain because of its high usage. Locust Chain that resolved the dilemma. How can it be used? Shall we take IoT device, the big data-based artificial intelligence, as an example? This device endlessly transmits and receives communications, which create extremely small unit of transactions called microtransactions. With the current centralized system, it is difficult to manage thousands of small transactions, not only problems with tampering, hacking, server shutdown, but also cost issues arise. Moreover, in the 5G era with high-speed communication, many transactions, data, and costs may occur beyond our imagination. Blockchain that acquires both decentralization and scalability is essential for the future. The blockchain that cannot specify the target of attack and one which the entire system remains unaffected even if one of the participators shut down. The blockchain that can be applied in real-life situations from its lightweight and fast speed. Locust Chain has completely changed our future by resolving the blockchain dilemma. A world where transactions among people and among objects can be safely processed, even without any guarantee from others. This is the credit revolution era that Locust Chain will establish. A revolution that creates new politics, society, and culture beyond the emergence of simple technology. As a result, things you have never dreamed possible becomes a reality. This advances the entire humanity. This is the kind of future Locust Chain aims to build.